Welcome to RCRV. We are going to finally answer the question a lot of people ask, should I get an RV? Is it worth the money? We have one of my best friends, Josh and his family are here visiting us for the weekend. They have never been in an RV, they haven't been camping, and they're here at Fort Yargo State Park with us for the weekend, and we're gonna get their honest reactions. If you've ever wanted to know, should you invest the money in an RV, is it actually worth it? You're gonna like this episode. Back to spider web. Oh, whoa. Good job with the poop. Hey, good job. Good job. You know what? No, no, no high five. No, no, that's me. That's me. Yes, baby. Can I vlog? Is that okay? Nice. Nice. Can I vlog? No, I mean, go ahead. What do you want to say? Nose in your butt? Say it. Say it. Say it. Nose in my butt? Yeah. Nose in my butt? Yeah. Nose in my butt? Yeah. I was gonna vlog, but I, maybe this is just this is this is what's happening. Noses and butts and dogs on the couch. You want to be on the camera so bad, but every time I point the camera at you, you start giggling. <laughs> So we all got here last night, a little bit late for a Friday. We did an easy dinner, burgers and hot dogs around the fire pit. Just kind of relaxed and had fun. This morning we got up, the dogs were uh, a little happy to have playmates with each other. Got us up a little early, we ate breakfast in the RV and then now, we are going on a hike. Fort Yargo has some amazing trails here. A lot of bike trails, but a lot of hiking trails too. We're gonna take the main hiking trail around this lake and kind of show everybody some of the amazing views that Fort Yargo has to offer. See if we can have a little bit of fun. Josh, this tree has too much junk in the trunk. Let's go, yeah! <laughs> Moving. I don't want to get too close to this spider. Oh, Ben's gonna on, jump on me. He just squirted at me. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> this is spiders. On your mark. On your mark. Wait, wait, wait. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. I'm gonna lose so much. Uh, you are, uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, come here. Are you ready? Come here. Come here. <laughs> ready? Set. Yeah. <laughs> like a <Yeah>. horse. <horror. laughs> so fast. I had a head start coming back. You did, but you're so fast, guys. You're so fast. We just got caught in a rainstorm on this hike. So uh, we're gonna turn around and head back. Hopefully it's gonna pass us by. But we'll see. Yeah! Good thing is, some of our spirits aren't dampened by the rain. <laughs> Let's go rain! <laughs> Starting to get a little bit heavier now that we got in the clearing. We got probably another mile to get back to the camper, but yeah. only another 200 feet till some tree cover again. Well, we made it after the hike. The rain stopped as soon as we got back from the hike, of course. It's still a little wet and damp, a little gray overcast, but it's not supposed to rain the rest of the day. So we're just hanging out here at the RV, getting ready to cook some lunch, some hot dogs and burgers. We got a special treat for dinner, so stay tuned. But this is what RVing is. No plans, it's raining. If there's any test to see if this is worth it, this is it. It's the... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. RVing is a lot of fun, even if it's on the weekend. Hanging around with your friends, just sitting around, no plans, time slows down. We're all having a lot of fun. Even if it's in the pouring rain. Josh, first thoughts, RVing, what do you think? It's a lot of fun, I guess. He's not gonna let me buy one. <laughs> 
<laughs> we still got another day. We 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 can work on her. We, we, we can mooch off you. <laughs> we have had a good time so far, just chilling here at the campsite. But we're about to get dinner going, and as in every guest we have, we're gonna show the girls how to start a fire, which means they gotta chop the wood we've got. They're gonna get the fire going because we've got an awesome new camping utensil that we're gonna show you guys how to cook some amazing food on the campfire. We've been holding it a secret for several months. We've been using it for a while because we really wanted to see if it was worth showing. And I gotta tell you, we absolutely love this. So stick around. But first, we gotta show these girls Just like how to get a campfire going. You hear it cracking? Yay! Because they're small, the wood should burn but it leaves room in the middle for us to get some cardboard in there to start yes. and then a lot of room for air to get in there. And then once it starts burning down, then we can stack the big ones on. Gonna hold it right there. The girls did awesome. Wow. Now that's, go that's going now. All right, we got a really cool piece of meat that we're gonna cook tonight and we're gonna show you our kanka. Now we've been using this kanka for months. It's an electric rotisserie that you actually stake down by the fire pit. You just have to run an extension cord. It does run off a battery pack if you want to. We just prefer just to plug it in with the extension cord. It's a lot easier. It takes a while to cook, but the fun and the ease, we love it. We, we actually use this more than our Blackstone lately. We're gonna have a full video review just on it for you guys to explain a little more about it. But for this episode, we're actually gonna break it out and show you how we use it. All right, we got the big piece of ribeye here we're gonna put on the conca. I made a marinade that's not really a marinade. What we use it is, I like to inject our meat uh, when you cook a rotisserie with such a thick chunk of meat. It's nice to have a little flavor inside, and then we also baste it as it's uh, turning around the conca. You don't have to inject it if you don't have an injector, but definitely baste it every 30, 40 minutes. It gives it a nice little char burn on the outside. This recipe changes every camp I go to. It's usually just the leftovers that's in the pantry. It typically is olive oil, garlic, uh, a little bit of vinegar or balsamic vinaigrette if you have it, salt, pepper, a little bit of ketchup and mustard, and brown sugar. Mix it all up and it makes a great base for rotisserie meat. All right, rotisserie set, going. It's usually gonna take a few hours to cook, but uh, this is the time to do uh, another good camping tradition, which is, um, you know, some drink. You just need the right one. The one that you always grab, yeah, see? Josh, I'm gonna need your help. Grab the knife and the special thing. All right, watch your uh, watch your crotch then. <laughs> you got this, Josh. You got this. Stab it, stab it, or grab it, whatever. Yeah. All right, just hold it. Just there you go. There you go. There we go. Hey, yeah. right. good job. You look like a big lump of coal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Well, hard burnt end. Oh, look, you can see my injection points too. <laughs> what did you inject it with? The same thing I basted it with. What was it? Whatever I find in the cabinet. <laughs> Conca's for real, it's awesome. We will do a review video, but this weekend is all about uh, first time RV camping and is it worth it sharing with our friends. So uh, we're about to dig in. Let's see. 
temperature here in Georgia dropped this weekend. Uh, it's like 30 something degrees outside. We all got uh, a little chilly and ran out of firewood. So we all piled in the camper and we're gonna play charades. But just remember if you do have dogs, especially if they're wiry, eventually their batteries do run out. <laughs> Time starts. Yes. Oh. Okay. Condiment. Yes. Oh <laughs> Ready, set, go. One word. Line. Angel. Ballet. Parapente. Ballerina. Nutcracker. We go to the rock there. Is that uh, helmet? Okay. Astronaut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, team, come on. We we need this point. Come on. Go ahead. Fluff, explosion, bomb, fluffer nutter, sandwich. <laughs> One word. Bombastic. Bomb. <laughs> Mr. Lova Lova. <laughs> Bombastic. Floor. Light, lighted floor. Lit floor. Light. <laughs> <laughs> Straw. Sit. Slurp. Go. Uh, fish. Suck. Suck. Okay. Suck. 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 What is the bird? Flapping wings. <laughs> What's the bird? What is it? Flapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Acrobatics! <laughs> Acrobatics! So what did you girls think about camping? I love it. We should get her on RV and just yes. tag along. Because I like it because I don't have to sleep on the ground. Yeah. But uh, you still get like that nature feel like you're like outside. Yeah, we spent a lot of time outside, right? Yeah. And you guys built a fire? Yeah, we. you helped us talk a little bit. And I liked that, that was cool. So you're gonna, you're gonna be back again? You guys are gonna come camping again? Oh, yeah. Well, we have had an awesome time here with Josh and his family. What did you guys think? First RV trip, first camping trip. Is it worth it? Is, yes. Do you yes. see? So Especially when you're spoiled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what we always talk about and try to share is that like just RVing is magical. Even for a weekend, you can have a lot of Especially fun. Especially if you haven't seen someone in 20 years. <laughs> Especially if yeah. you haven't seen an old friend. Yeah. So RVing's awesome. We've got firsthand experience now. And uh, I have a feeling you're going to definitely see the woods again on our CRB. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah thank you. Back. <laughs>